All right, so we have here the Chizuru from Rinne Girlfriend, the party dress version. If you watched any of my videos before, you will know that I have quite the Chizuru collection already. I have every figure of her released besides some very minor variant versions, which I'm not going to worry about getting. Uh, but I have all the main molds of them. So this is one of two of them that I'm going to be unboxing here in the next week. I've got another one over here, which we'll get to later. Um, but today we're going to be unboxing this one. So this one is one that I have kind of been pretty excited about uh, because I've been joking about it with some of my friends that it has a feature that is kind of odd, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, so anyway, uh, while I unbox this, I'll tell you where I got it from. I got this from Ami Ami, but I believe this is still available at Entertainment Earth if you want to. I will double check, and if it is, then I will link it in the description. And I believe it's still available at Ami Ami too, but you will be paying some higher shipping cost if you order it from Ami Ami since they are based out of Japan. So just keep that in mind. I would not pay, I mean, maybe this is the best figure I'll ever unbox, and then I'll be able to tell you, hey, pay $200 for it. I wouldn't pay $200 for this thing. I wouldn't, there's very few figures I would pay $200 for of this scale. So, let's get it open here. Now, this is one-seventh scale. So, the other one we're going to be unboxing is one six scale, and if you've watched any of the freeing videos, which there's a bunch of them up there, uh, those are one fourth scale. So, kind of a smaller one, but not not small compared to some other ones that we've got. So, that is our box here, or our packaging, our internal stuff here. Uh, first thing I'm noticing here, before we get to the thing, looks like it's a, uh, like a velvet base, which is neat. I did not expect that. Uh, you'll notice here that they have this little cutout for her face so that you can see the face really good even out of the, in the when it's still in the box. Let's cut all the tape here. Should do it. There we go. All right, so first off, let's look at the base because it has become a common trend. Yeah, so this is really nice. It's like, a, it's, you, I don't know if you can hear that, but it is a uh, like a fabric type base, like a velvet, and that's really cool. It fits for the party dress look. I like that a lot. I like when they put some detail into the base and stuff. So, moving on to the figure here. There is that. Let's pull all this off of here. So, yeah. I'll give some close-ups of this after we get it on the base here. Let's go ahead and do that. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and give you them close-ups now, and I'll come back and we'll look at the rest of it. All right, so looking at it here, the face looks great. They've really nailed the Chizuru face over the 10 figures they've made of her now, 10, 15 now. So they've really nailed that. It, it looks identical to the anime and manga counterpart. No complaints there at all. Uh, the rest of the figure doesn't look bad. I uh, The tights here, uh, they, they look okay. Um, I do think they look more like she just has more brownish legs than she does uh, tights on, but it ain't bad, it ain't bad. It looks decent. I'm not gonna complain too much because I know this is not like a, this is not as high end as a freeing figure. So you're not gonna get actual like fabric tights. Getting a fabric base was 
a bunch to ask for. So you're not going to get like fabric tights. So you, you got to go with that. But uh, otherwise, it's it's not bad. I like the dress here. I think the dress looks really nice. It's kind of flowy. And I think that's neat. Um, she does have some like earrings there on the face, beside the face. Yeah. And the shoe here, well-designed shoe. Uh, so one thing that I will mention, and I'll zoom in on it now and give you a close-up of it. If you notice here, uh, she seems to be a little cold at this party. Uh, and I've noticed that, and I joked about it with some friends, that uh, the, uh, they made her quite erect on this one for no real reason. They, they do this on some of the freeing figures as well, which I've never pointed out because I think it's kind of goofy. But I especially found it quite goofy on this one because it's very apparent and I I don't know why they did that like I get it I get why you do that because it it gives conversation like this right here but it it, it kind of takes away from it in my opinion like I okay yeah yeah this does happen at like events uh I yeah like we had this at the Oscars so Maybe, but as for, do I want that in my anime figures? Ah, I don't care. It's fine. Um, so overall, like, comparing this to, like, the other Chizuru figures, it's not my favorite. I probably, if I had to go for a dress look, I'd probably put the Chinese dress one over this one. I think it looks better. I think it has a better design. It's more unique. I think it, it's probably in the bottom... Four. It's not my least favorite, but it's not my favorite either. It was one that I was probably going to pass on until I decide, I realized that I was so close to having them all, and now I've just decided to buy all the cheese roots. So, that's about it. I'm not going to drag this out too much longer. Uh, this is where it's going to be at in the collection, so if you want to see that, uh, there is going to be one more added to the collection, so if you want to see the full updated collection, come back in four days and you'll see where it will go then because it will have to move because the other one is quite big if you saw the uh unboxing a thing from japan uh is a quite big figure so we'll have to adjust it for that but anyway uh, that'll do it for today i hope you enjoyed this very brief but kind of cool unboxing here of a six or the seventh scale figure and uh if you like that don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me out and it helps me know that you enjoy stuff like this so anyway thanks for watching bye